This will make your fingertips turn blue. Hypoxia, which is a lack of oxygen to the brain, is a real threat in these little unpressurized aircraft. Hypoxia will usually start with mild symptoms, such as a tingly tongue, small headaches, or a sense that something's not quite right. But it can get as bad as blue fingertips, or even passing out and never waking up. There are four main types of hypoxia which affect us pilots. The simplest one is hypoxic hypoxia, which is when there's not enough oxygen in the air for you to breathe. What? But I thought there's oxygen everywhere. There is, but because air has weight to it, most of it is concentrated near the surface due to gravity. So the higher up you go, the less oxygen there is for you to breathe. Another form is hypemic hypoxia. This is normally caused by a faulty cabin air heater. Since most airplane engines are air cooled, the easiest way to heat the cabin is to use excess heat from the exhaust. <laughs> Inside the engine bay, there's a little shroud that wraps around the exhaust of the engine, which brings the heat from the exhaust into the cabin. But even a tiny hole in this little system can cause a lot of exhaust fumes to head right into your cabin. This CO2 from the exhaust binds with your blood 200 times easier than oxygen, quickly leading to hypoxia. We also have stagnant hypoxia, which is when your blood has the oxygen, but it can't make it to your brain. This is normally due to high G-force. Not something we have to worry about in our little bug smashers. Lastly, and least common, we have histotoxic hypoxia, which is when there's oxygen in the blood, but your brain cells are unable to make use of the oxygen, usually due to a toxin in the bloodstream, such as alcohol or even cyanide. There's so much more to learn about hypoxia, such as why it's a bigger threat at night and why you need oxygen after a 12,500 feet of altitude. But that's for another video.